All right, so before we get to the video, um, there's been breaking news in boxing. Tiafima Lopez versus George Cambosos Jr. is postponed due to Tiafima Lopez testing positive for COVID-19. Um, very disappointed. Um, I've been looking. I would. I've been looking forward for this fight. Um, this was a good uh, comeback fight for Tiafima Lopez. Um, after um, his big win against Vasily Lomachenko, you know, very disappointed, but you know, stuff happens. Yeah, but wish nothing but the best for Tiafima Lopez, and yeah, so on to the video. <laughs> Hey, what's up, y'all? Preston from Fight Media 360 here. So this is a quick preview and prediction for Angelo Leo versus Aaron Alameda. So if you guys didn't know, this fight takes place on the undercard of Jamal Charlo versus Juan Montiel. Just wanted to get that out of the way. So now let's talk about this, their stats, the odds, um, and then what they need to do to win, and then... Uh, at the end of the video, my final prediction. So let's start off with Angelo Leo. So Angelo Leo comes into the fight with a record of 20 wins, one loss, zero draws. His only loss came from uh, Stephen Fulton. Uh, he stands at a height of five foot six with a 69 inch reach. Right. So Aaron Alameda is coming into the fight with a record of 25 wins. One loss, zero draws, with 13 KOs. He's coming off of a loss against uh, um, Luis Neri. Uh, he stands at a height of five foot six with the 67 inch reach. So they're both the same height, but uh, Leo uh, has um, is um, two inches taller. I mean, two inches longer in reach. My bad. Um, yeah. Uh, Angelo Leo is listed as a negative 250 favorite over Aaron Alameda. So, now we got that all out the way. Um, now let's talk about what they need to do to win. Let's start off with the favorite, Angelo Leo. So, Angelo Leo, um, what he needs to do is, like, put a lot of pressure on, uh, Alameda. Like how he usually, like how he always does, put a lot of pressure on him, land really hard shots on Alameda, body to head, because Alameda isn't good against uh, um, um, pressure fighters, you know, like Luis Neri, because Luis Neri is a pressure fighter, you know, and Alameda was trying to pick his shots at, in the outside, but that clearly wasn't working against uh, Neri. And then, uh, because Neri kept coming in, you know, and he couldn't really do anything. So, I would like to see Leo put a lot of pressure on Aaron and, and you know, land really hard shots on him. Make him extremely uncomfortable, you know, because he's definitely the faster fighter. And, you know, I'm not saying the smarter fighter, but he's definitely, like, you know, the faster fighter than, uh, um... Alameda, so he needs to use that speed and then uh, land and again land hard shots on him. And the thing I would like to see is him tear up that body of Alameda. You know, Alameda looks like you know he got a solid body, but he doesn't cover up his body a whole lot. So I would like him to rip to that body, and you know, and then once you get the opportunity, opportunity, and then hit to the head, uh, because Alameda like. Like, he doesn't, like, like, he's good, but he's, like, a guy that tries to box, but then once somebody puts pressure on him, he just struggles. You know, he's, like, like, he struggles against, like, pressure fighters. So, Leo needs to definitely take an advantage of that and, uh, and really, like, make Aaron and make Aaron Alameda very, very uncomfortable. Because he definitely has uh, the tools to do that. And um, he also needs to watch out for Aaron Alameda's punches. 
uh, because Aaron Alameda's punches, they do, like, you know, they do affect, you know, but he doesn't got a whole lot of power, because on the other hand, you only got, like, what, 13 KOs out of, like, 25 wins, so, I'm um, kind of be a little bit aware of that, and then, uh, make sure you're impressing the judges when you're pressure fighting, you know, and, uh, Kind of like uh, when you're in the inside, do what kind of what Nicholas Ponce did when he fought Lewis Ritson. When he's in the inside, like you know, beat him up and like when you're pressure fighting, and then clinch because Alameda, you know, he does punch. So after that, like kind of punch, you know, a little bit, and then clinch, you know, because Alameda will like punch, and that will definitely get the uh, judges' attention in the fight, you know, and then. Uh, and also the key is to rip to that body, cause he will make that he he would make that uh, body real tender if he uh, if he tore that up, <laughs> because uh, Alameda he leaves his body wide open, dude. So like he can easily just go like hit him like to the body a lot, you know, and really tire out Alameda and then try to stop Alameda, you know, with the cause like. Leo, I really like Leo's body, body, uh, punches. Like, he's a really good body puncher. Like, he, like, people expect Leo to just be a guy that just doesn't have no power. He doesn't, but his punches still hurt. He doesn't go to, to the head. I mean, he does go to the head, but he's a big body puncher. Like, I would like to see him use that against Alameda and then, really tire out Alameda with the body shots, you know, and then try to look for the stoppage. So that's what Angelo Leo needs to do to win. So now let's go talk about Aaron Alameda. So what Aaron Alameda needs to do is, since Aaron Alameda is a guy that likes to box, try to uh, move move your feet a little more. Because even though Alameda uh, is, a bo- is, like a, is a boxer, He's kind of like Jose Sabeda. He's a good, he's like a good boxer, but he doesn't, like he kind of, his footwork is a little slow for like a boxer. So um, I would like to see him like move his feet and get a little quicker with his feet against a guy like Leo and like pick a shot from mid range. Like, cause like that's what Aaron Alameda is really good at is picking shots at, uh, at uh, like mid range. And, like, you know, like, try not to have Leo uh, close to you because um, then, like, if, he, if you're going to have Leo close to you, that is not going to be good because then he's just going to load you with punches. And that's what Aaron Alameda does not want to do is to uh, be close up to Leo. So I would like to see him box at mid-range, move his feet a little more, get quicker with his feet, and then move and then like move around and he would have a very good chance of winning because Angelo Leo isn't good against boxers obviously because you know he uh lost by Stephen Fulton Stephen Fulton's a good boxer so try to like outbox Leo and like you know outwork uh, Leo in the outside you know and be the smarter fighter um you know because Aaron, Aaron Alameda can, he could outbox him, you know, I just would like to see him, ha- uh, like, I would just like to see him uh, work on his footwork a little more, because, again, like, his footwork is a little slow, it's not, like, slow, slow, he does move around, but he is, like, he needs to get quicker with his feet, especially against a guy like Leo, now, how, it's full and beating, is because, Fulton was really quick of getting his punches in the inside, you know, being a better, like, aggressor fighter than uh, Leo, and then being a better uh, boxer than uh, Leo, because he had really good footwork, and he was really good at, like, punching and getting uh, to the outside, so I would really like to see Alameda do that. And Alameda, like, he reminds me a lot of, a, of like, a smaller version of a Jose Cepeda. Like, they're, like, first of all, they're both Mexican, and they both are boxers, but they both don't necessarily have the quickest feet for a boxer. Like, because if you look at the highlights with Aaron Alameda and uh, um, Jose Zapata, 
you can see where I'm coming from. It's not because they're both Mexican, but you know. But yeah, so that's what he needs to do is be a more is be a better technical fighter, to uh, be a, a like a tech be like a better fighter than Leo, be a better technical fighter than Leo, and then like just outpoint Leo in the outside and like you know, and then that would look very impressive uh, um, with the judges. So yeah. So my final prediction for this fight, again, this is a very good fight. I can't wait for this fight. This fight is going to be a very, very good fight, very hard fight to predict. But if I would have to pick one, I would probably have to lean more towards Angelo Leo by a close unanimous decision, maybe by a split decision. But I want to say like a close unanimous decision. Aaron, because Aaron Alameda... Like, the reason why I pick him, uh, Angelo, is because Angelo is a very aggressive fighter. And Aaron Alameda isn't good against uh, aggressive fighters. Like, you know, like uh, Luis Neri or something like that. Because Neri was just pressuring him and, you know, making him uncomfortable. And Angelo Leo is that kind of fighter who will just pressure the hell out of you. And then really make you uncomfortable. So, yeah, so... That's my final prediction. I got Angelo Leo by a close unanimous decision. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm Preston from Fight Media 360. And thank you all for watching this video.